Hello, I thought I'd do a quick video. Camera video lights, a uh, newer model. It's the ultra thin model and then the ability to be used with included rechargeable battery or an AC connection that's not included. Uh, this one here is the ultra thin model with the aluminum case. So it dissipates heat pretty good and it keep, makes the thing lightweight and ultra thin. Got 160 SMD LEDs that are bicolor. Color temperature range is from 3200 to 5600K. And you could adjust the, uh, the brightness and the color temperature through the LCD panel. It's got a 95 CRI. So let's open up and see what it looks like. We just received this in the mail. So this is the light itself. It's less than an inch thin. And you can see the 160 bicolor lights there. There's the LCD panel, some buttons, and that's where the battery goes. There's a manual. Now the bottom here is we have the battery, charger for the battery, and a uh, mount for the camera. This mount is pretty interesting. Now uh, it, it, yeah, it looks like it could tilt so you could bounce it. So this ultra thin light would be, I need something lightweight to stick on top of the camera or camcorder. You could also use it as a fill light and put it on, in the, uh, on a stand. It's got the standard quarter adapter. But let, let's hook it up to the camera and see what it looks like. Okay, we got the newer light mounted on a Nikon D5200. You can see it's all aluminum based. This is the rechargeable Sony battery. There's your power on and off button, brighter, dimmer. And this is a switch for the uh, Kelvin scale. Right now we're at 3200 Kelvin. You can see the lighting here as I decrease the Kelvin, increase the Kelvin. You see the light change, more the uh, orange lights come in effect. And as you change the Kelvin, you can see a change. So the lower it goes, the more the, uh, the orange uh, LEDs take effect. This, when the blue light's on, that tells you what your brightness level is. So we go from 0 to 99%. And that's your brightness of the lighting. So let me take it down. And you can see, this thing is pretty thin, less than an inch thin. Not that big. Doesn't look odd sitting on top of the camera. Here you could adjust the tilt of the, the lighting itself. It's got the standard mount on it. So it's good for both my camera and the camcorder. It's not that heavy. It's not that bulky. So it's good light. Uh, we'll do a demonstration uh, about the light output and how far it extends. But there are many times when you're doing, you know, photography or video that you just need a bit more lighting. And this would just uh, help out tremendously. You don't have to drag down the big studio lights to get some lighting. This fills in just fine. So it's good for mounting on a camera or on a stand for field lighting. So now we'll do some testing on it next. Naturally we got it on a bright white setting and uh, you can turn it down. Pretty much in the dark. We can also change it to a warmer setting or the white setting using all the bright white lights and lit up. So it's, it works pretty good. I mean, it's uh, it's not expensive. It's right around a little over thirty dollars, but it, it's going to add some lighting to your camcorder or camera or some field lighting on, on a stand. These cameras they come with you know built-in flashes and stuff like that, but the LEDs are far superior, and you have greater control on the, on the light output. And you can use your camera to adjust the, the white balance or the balance of the whiting or, or the lighting, but. Uh, it's so a quick uh, demonstration of the newer. We're gonna start using this thing. Sometimes, like I says, you're indoors and you says, I ah, just need a little bit more lighting. This way you could uh, keep your lens aperture better level than having it, uh, the camera just close it down or open it up when you really don't want that in your video shoot. All right, I got the uh, the light mount on top of the, uh, the camcorder. It's getting right about dusk. I'm just shooting down the piano. The piano is about eight feet away from me and it's just natural light. Uh, if you look in the background, probably about 15, 18 feet away. The bass in the corner, 
on the wall. This is natural lighting. Now let me turn this thing on. Lights up the piano fine. And you can see the details on the vase on the corner of the wall. I shut off the light. And that's what we get. So this is the newer SW16B. 16 tells you that it's 16 watts of power, which is perfect for what I need. I don't need nothing large or overpowering. This thing uh, fits on the camcorder just right. Doesn't look uh, obscene sitting up there. And it produces a, a lot of light. Uh, there are many times when you're recording or taking photographs where it says, I wish you had more light and you got to bring out the big limes with the stands and all that. This one here makes it very convenient. Just stick it on top of the camera and turn it on when you need it. What's nice about it is that once you have it on, you can adjust the amount of light that you want. You can bring it down, bring it up, and you can set the temperature. You have it on a warm color setting, or you could flip it over and have it on a cool color setting. Depends on what you need. So uh, this turned out to be a pretty good uh, lamp system. This is a newer, again, SW16B. Very slim, aluminum bodied, lightweight. You can stick it in your pocket, so it's easy and compact to carry around. So this is a quick review, and uh, I always wanted one of these, but then didn't, didn't know what to get. I'm glad I got the ultralight. This has the removable rechargeable battery. I believe they have one with a built-in uh, battery that's a little bit more, but I don't think it has that much of a, more of an output. This one here, you can swap out batteries as you need them. It takes a common Sony battery. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.